So, on this episode of Clinically Pressed, uh, Kyle and I are sitting down having coffee and good old lacrosse by the lacrosse wall in the center, and we just wanted to cover our trip down to Madison last week um, and the CrossFit Games and just talk about what we learned, what we liked, any perspectives that changed. Um, I don't know, that was basically kind of cover the whole gamut of stuff because it was a really interesting trip i thought even though it was short which we all think was unfortunate but <laughs> real world was coming strong so we needed to get back but yeah you know, i think we crammed as much as we possibly could though in that two days for right? sure i don't think we could have crammed in much more no but that was it was a good trip definitely it was awesome i think uh it would be nice to actually attend the games next year yeah you know, and actually see be engulfed in it and see what it's all about but just even being down there i think we got a pretty good taste of I was looking what, at the pictures what and what was. rogue like they didn't have a booth they built a building no kidding yeah I mean full clothes I think I saw another thing they brought like 400,000 pounds of um, plates holy cow to the That's games unreal. I mean it was just some unbelievable I can't number. say I'm surprised after seeing how they took over State Street Brats and right. what they did with that place. But yeah, that, that thing, that was crazy sweet. too, just <laughs> seeing that, like how much it took over the city because it was Killcliff took over the Coliseum Bar, Rogue took over State Street Brats, which was still pretty sweet with the cow. Oh, yeah. Um, painted black with Rogue on it. And, it, yeah, it was, it was impressive just how much it absorbed into the city, and I don't even know that we saw the half of it. I don't know. I don't think so. No, I mean, we had a ton of time downtown, but it'd be interesting to see what the town's perception of the games was. Mm-hmm. You know how that was received, and then also the other side of things, like the people coming in from the games. Right. You know the athletes and everything. What they thought of it being in Madison in the city, and yeah, how that I all think went. The ones we talked to said people enjoyed it just because it was a change of pace, and it wasn't as hard to get somewhere or it wasn't 30 minutes of traffic to try and find some place to eat or something where it was just a little bit everything was just a little bit easier Mm because it wasn't carson california and (laughs) just a madhouse from what it sounds like but i talked to someone yesterday and he said that he was down there for the whole thing and he thought that people were a little upset the first day or two just because of the weather and Mm. saying you know because maybe they just got in for the games or whatever and they had those outdoor events with the the run and the swim and right. uh, then the bike and it was not nice it was about as crappy as it probably gets this time of year or almost and right. he said they were kind of upset about that a little bit but then they turned around the, the last two days it was beautiful and they're like oh yeah you know it, it is pretty nice here and everything so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it could have been 95 too which exactly. I don't think anybody would have enjoyed and humid yeah that would have got got tough I think some of the observations I had, and I put this in an article that we'll link up, is I think the community, which you always hear about it, like the different boxes and different things, and until you get to experience some of that, I I don't know that you can really explain it. I mean, the guy, Paul Shuggleman of Paragon, who we stayed with, had... Seven, eight people staying at his house over the course of the entire day and week and whatnot, and it's just not a big thing. And it's just a big just family. Help yourself to whatever you need. What mine, what's mine is yours. And you know, everybody brought in food and different things. It's like-minded individuals too. Everybody's, mm-hmm. you know, wants to, you know, have the best fitness, but then also wants everybody else to have good fitness and nutrition as well and it's just a, a very welcoming family I feel like sure. you know you just like there's no egos it didn't seem like to me I mean I'm sure maybe you get that with some people but yeah overall it's just it's really cool just a very welcoming atmosphere yeah that was a one I, like I thought it was funny because when they were talking about like what's fitness because they <laughs> wanted to get their workout in and to me, you know, it was almost like the stereotype of some of them where it's just all about getting a workout. Not necessarily training, but just getting a workout. But then at the same time, it's just like the dedication to like not miss that and just to be able to get out and do something. 
to me is pretty impressive. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and just <clears throat> if more people would just like refuse to miss a workout. I mean, these guys had just traveled from God knows where. I mean, they were coming in from the East Coast. I think most of them mm-hmm. and didn't slow them down. No, I, I think that's awesome. Looking at them <laughs> because it's draining to travel and you're just sitting and you know uh kogan drove down from michigan too and you know it, that's takes a toll on you just sitting there mm-hmm. for five plus hours or whatever and it just feels good to move so it's pretty cool or max clean like iman was doing apparently <laughs> so there you go with that yeah, I think the dedication, like, to the nutrition, like, you know, they probably catch a hard time about some of them being, like, so paleo, and, like, that's the only way to live. Uh, we did witness several of them drinking beer, so that they are real people. And eating cheese. And eating so, cheese. So it's not... Cheese isn't that's, paleo? I don't think that's so, dairy. Because yeah. that would be the one thing that <laughs> yeah. I would be to give up. I think I could do the rest, but if I could add cheese to things, I'd be like, yeah, we're good. Um, <laughs> and butter. Yeah, the butter's good. Yeah. And then we'll make an addendum to our paleo. <laughs> but, you know, just, yeah, they experienced cheese curds for the first time. That was hilarious. Um, not deep fried, of course. But, yeah, just the dedication to it. And, I mean, the results are in just looking at them. Like, they're full of energy. They're all lean. They're all jacked in the best way possible. Right. You know, when you talk, I mean... I'm a strong guy, and I felt like a punk. <laughs> I just felt like a punk. It was terrible. I mean, it was great, but it's just like, well, they're strong, but they've got a tank too. You know, mm-hmm. like they they can they got an engine that just goes. You know, the motor. Right. They got the cardio and just very well rounded, and that's what CrossFit's about. You mm-hmm. know, just uh, being a well rounded athlete. It was also really interesting because I know there's a lot of you know that, and they talked about this a lot too. That CrossFit had gone like so weightlifting, and that's like what everybody was focusing on was like the weightlifting portion of it, and how they thought that was kind of a detriment to it. But it seems like, at least from the conversations they had from the higher up, um, from the headquarters and Castro and everything, like they recognized that, and that's why they were throwing in these crazy events, like. Sure, you still had the basic, you know, a lot of weightlifting stuff, mm-hmm. but like the run, swim, run, cycle cross, cycle cross, obstacle which course, brutal. Yeah, um, and then the obstacle course, like they're gonna keep coming up with random things to make these people train in every capacity. Because again, that's what it's about. It's not just about weightlifting. It's right. not just about the gymnastic. It's the whole gamut. And I thought that was kind of cool to hear is that, you know, they, they recognize that they may have been trending one way too far mm-hmm. and we're trying to bring it back around. You know, I still remember when they were talking about one of the earlier games when they had to do a softball toss. <laughs> yeah. And people couldn't do it. Yeah. They didn't know how to throw a softball. Yeah. So they literally try and roll it for distance. And so they're like, we're waiting for that to show up again because sure. people will forget and not do anything like that and it'll crush them. That's what I love about it. It's just the the broad spectrum and the mm-hmm. the unknowing, and just you have to be ready for anything and just yep. well rounded and competitive within that. And how about Matt Frazier just crushing everybody again? Yeah, I think like, he missed like two hundred points that he of like the perfect score. It's unbelievable. Which is insane. Unbelievable. To to have because it's not like. The people in second and third and fourth and fifth are yeah. not great athletes <laughs> this either. The, this isn't you know, the first like, year that they're doing it. It is amazing how mm-hmm. far ahead he is of, from everybody else. It would be very interesting to see what he's doing for training and mm-hmm. what he's doing for nutrition and how much of that is that and how much of it is just, you know, like the dude's a freak. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's very interesting. Or, or is he, I don't know, because I feel like, like on the women's side, it almost like the separating factors is just getting events in your wheelhouse. You know, mm-hmm. when you're separated by seconds or something right. with that, you know, if you get an event that suits your skills, you're you're gonna be well off and that might put you over the edge. But for him, like he's just doing it for everything. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's just it's incredible. 
impressive people, to say the least. But yeah, I mean, just I was talking about this too. Even just the dedication again. Like one of the girls we talked to is competing in the team. She, they finished ninth or eighth or ninth. I can't remember. Yeah, one, it was sure. one of the two in the and top ten. She just finished. She pushed all her physical therapy finals up to the start of that week. Kelly Wild. Yeah, so yep. she could get down to the games. What an amazing yeah, individual like you're too. Working, trying, going to school, physical therapy school at Minnesota, which I'm assuming is a very good school. I've never looked it up, but I gotta imagine it's a good school. And also competing at an ungodly high level. That it's takes just, that takes some that takes some stuff. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and just even like Corey Dyson, you know, twenty two. Right. Yep. And what she's already accomplished, having finished up her career as a gymnast and the transition, and to be trained with one of the best people in the world at it. Yeah, it, it's it'll be interesting to see how she does next year and in future years, mm-hmm. just because she she appears to be an outstanding athlete. Right. At, at uh, as early as she is in her career, I feel like she's gonna. She's going to be cracking the games here. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah. And I would just reference it again just to kind of keep giving a shout-out. You know, Eamon, who's works full-time, plus owns a gym, plus is setting up a fitness series. Oh, man. Across that's, the country. That's exciting you know, to see what's going to happen there, too. everything he's doing, you know, and just still maintain newborn yeah, no Nine doubt. Weeks old right. when we met him. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're gonna be busy, and then um, Kogan, and just what? What a story. Sport slash fit movement. What I think I referred to it as a movement because I don't want to call it a trend. Has done for a guy like that, and how much better you know he said his life has been, and where he's found it, and just again, I think the community. I think I saw a picture of him on Instagram. Um, he was outside the house they were staying at, and he had picked up a brick, and he was doing uh, one arm overhead walking lunges. Oh, jeez. Saying how that's... even on vacation you can't take a break from your workout. It's just like, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, what a powerful story. So, it's yeah, that, that'll definitely be worth checking out when we get that one out. Um, yeah, it was incredible. So, One of our more heavy episodes oh, for sure the heaviest yeah episode we've had, yeah which was a lot of fun and we appreciate it absolutely so. yeah oh my god good stuff to cover from the weekend i don't know if it's you're an in awesome Wisconsin recap. area i think it would definitely even if you're not into it um we didn't get a chance to go to the games and we regret it um i don't know that i'll pay the 300 dollars to go inside and watch the finals but i would definitely pay the 100 dollars to get into the outdoor stuff and go check out the fitness, you know, the expo area and everything like that. That is something Absolutely. I'll definitely be doing next year. But um, it's fun to check out. We would recommend it. Great atmosphere. Even just, just so to, like, cool. go down and, like, mill around. Um, yeah. And I can only imagine how much it will get better next year. Oh, I agree. You know, after yeah. like, one, this year trial. city will be ready for yeah, it. Hopefully yeah. everything went well and – It'll go. It'll just continue to improve. But yeah, a couple other things actually. Oh, um, Paragon. I mean, oh yeah, Wait, I was gonna definitely shout them out before we it, left. It is really cool to. I mean, I knowing Paul and Paul, I I know the they're not gonna put out just anything. You know, they're gonna look and research and mm-hmm. figure out what's the top notch uh, product and well, even, they're going to test it even Paul Yonzer was saying it like as people were talking about something like, oh yeah well, that's because of this and yeah he's oh man the he science is spot right there. on yeah. with everything you're not going to yeah it, it, it's pretty cool and that's exciting to partner with them and you Look know, for more of that coming out soon. Hopefully, we'll get some more stuff officially out here. In more information future. too. It'd yeah. be interesting just to pick his brain. And but even then, yeah, <laughs> check out ParagonFN.com. I believe is their website. I'll make sure to link it up. But it's really cool to hear the testimonials from these athletes too, and yep. what the Night Gains has done for them, and these products. That's that's really cool. And the other thing is uh, checking out Madtown Fitness when we were down there. I thought that was an awesome yes. experience just to see all the equipment and uh, the facility they had and yep. kind of hear the story from Andy yeah, and Andy all they've shown so. us. Yeah. <clears throat> it's so cool that it was like all encompassing. Literally everything you, could, you, you would want there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Some in more than others, but yeah. Maybe not shake weights. I didn't see any shake no, weights, no. but I bet just you about you everything. I saw they might have one <laughs> on there, just because they didn't want to leave anybody out. Right. But yeah, just any kind of fitness. They covered the whole gamut, and they weren't kidding around doing it either. They, it was top of the line. They did stuff. right. Yep. So for sure. Yeah, if you're in the area and you're looking for a 24-hour, that's not super corporate. That would we would highly recommend going and checking that out. <laughs> yeah. Next year we'll have to actually plan to go get a workout down there. Yep. So, which means Andy, you have to come back if you're going to listen to this. I know you're already trying. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, with that, Kyle's got patients coming up soon to treat, and who knows what I got for the day, but. Until then, uh, have a great day. Make sure to check out Paragon. Uh, we'll link up everybody in this and check for those episodes coming out soon. Have a good See one. See you next time. <laughs>